Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. Today's video, as you can tell by the title, is a what's new in B&M slash B&M haul. So I went to B&M recently and I picked up a few bits and so I thought I would show you guys what I got. I just had to change the camera battery because my last one just died, so sorry if the angles different from the last but as i was saying i popped into b&m recently picked up a few bits so i thought i would do a little haul because i love watching b&m hauls b&m come shop with me i just love b&m you guys know b&m is one of my favorite shops of all time i love a bargain that's probably why i love primark so much too and home sense and tk maxx because they're all kind of cheap similar vibes which we all love so i'm just gonna jump straight in i've got a couple cleaning bits couple food bits couple home bits and it was actually quite good because i think most of the home bits i got in the sale so if you like them maybe pop into your local b and i was gonna say primark no wrong shop <laughs> maybe pop into your local b and m and you might have them in yours in the sale too so where should I start? Maybe I'll start with food. Now, B&M isn't my, <laughs> isn't the place where I do my weekly food shop, you know? I don't go there and do my weekly food shop every week, um, even though they do a lot of food stuff, and I do love their American sweet section and their cereals. They do the best variety of cereals literally ever, but they're not where I do my weekly food shop. No offence to anyone who does their weekly food shop in B&M, but they do do a few bits that I like for cheaper, basically. Cheaper than like Tesco, Asda, etc. I don't know why I felt the need to just ramble there. So the first two food items I got were these pasta and sauces. Now, if you haven't tried these pasta and sauces, you need to try them because they are actually really yummy and they're really filling and they're low in fat. They've got no artificial colours or preservatives, anything like that. I mean, I wouldn't say they're healthy, but they're healthier than a takeaway. So, you know them days when Billy's not home and he's not having dinner with me, he's out or whatever. I can't be bothered to cook a proper meal for myself. So... I put one of these in the microwave and it's so quick so easy it's literally like five minutes and it saves me from getting a takeaway and saves my money they are literally i think they're like 70p each so i always buy a couple when i pop into b&m these are the flavors that i picked up the cheese and broccoli one and mac and cheese because if you don't know me you won't know mac and cheese is literally life mac and cheese is life and that's another reason i'm so excited to get back to florida because americans just do mac and cheese so much better than here so yeah but i might actually have one of these tonight because billy's not here to have dinner tonight so i might have one of these probably the mac and cheese one sticking with also food I picked up this Home Pride Creamy Tomato and Herb Pasta Bake Sauce. Can you tell that I love pasta <laughs> from all these things? Um, yeah, basically another pasta item. Sorry if the angle has changed once again. My second camera battery just died, so hopefully this is third time lucky. Also, I feel like I am so shiny in the viewfinder right now. I'm I feel like I look very dishevelled, basically, but I've literally had my makeup on for the longest time, so let's just ignore that. Let's ignore the fact that I've been wearing a tracksuit all day to run errands, and the fact that it's actually still summer, so it's still quite hot but my brain thinks it's autumn, so it's probably a mixture of sweat and glow. Anyway, let's just ignore that and get back to the pasta. So yeah, as you can see, my love for pasta is just something else. Pasta, pizza, carbs, my favourite. 
that is the key to my heart make sure garlic bread's involved though but yeah i picked up this creamy tomato and herb pasta baked sauce this is so yummy billy and i love this we probably have this at least once a week on one of those days where you literally just can't be bothered to cook you just don't have the energy or you don't know what to cook all you do is literally get dry pasta put it in an oven dish pour this on top and then you fill up to the line with water and then pour that in and then you literally just bake it i think you bake it for like 35 minutes then add some cheese another 20 minutes in the oven in the oven oven and then bob's your uncle basically tastes so good so yummy and it's not that bad for you it's got no artificial colorings and it's one of your five a day so there you go creamy tomato and herb there you go <laughs> okay so moving on to like cleaning bits the first thing really boring but for me this is really exciting this is a plug hole unblocker for your bathroom so i've never used this brand before so i don't know what it's like but i thought i would give it a go see what it's like i normally use what's it called it's in like a yellow bottle and it's in like a, the shape of a like a drain kind of thing you guys with homes probably know the one i'm on about but I thought I would give, give this one a go. So you basically just pour it down the plug hole in your bath. And it's meant to like dissolve the hair and the sludge and stops slow draining water. We need this so badly right now. TMI, my hair molts like nobody's business. So I don't know how I've got hair left on my head because my hair is everywhere literally i can brush my hair even run my fingers through my hair and i've got a clump of hair in my hand i don't know how healthy that is but i'm not that worried because i've still got hair on top of my head but anyway because my hair molts so much when i'm washing my hair and stuff you can imagine the amount of hair that comes out it's clogged our drain in our bath and so when we have baths and let it out it takes ages for it to drain so i thought it's time to get this out unclog the drain so boring but essential for hair molters like me and it was only a pound so the one that i normally get i think is 199 so it's not that much more but yeah one pound so if this one was a treat then I can just get this one from now on. The next thing I picked up was this bold two-in-one with built-in linen freshness. This one's the Gold Orchid scent. I love this to wash my clothes with. I kind of vary the scent that I go for. I just kind of go there, sniff them all and see which one tickles my fancy on that day basically and the one that i liked in that moment in time was the gold orchid one so i picked this up this was the only thing that we needed um a refill on super quick super easy and i don't know if you guys like use this but it's really good you get the lid on top and then you just squeeze it in pop it in with your washing and Bob's your uncle. I don't know why I keep saying that saying. I literally never say that in my life. Um, but it just keeps flowing out at the minute. So yeah. Not really much else to say other than my clothes are going to smell nice. <laughs> so the last kind of like random bit is a lighter. So I needed just a new one of these because mine just stopped working. I guess it ran out of gas or whatever so i just needed a new one i've got quite a few candles that i'm ready to burn because it's starting to get gloomy again so i want to light all the candles in the living room and the kitchen to make it cozy and cute so i need a new one and of course i got pink one this was only one pound fifty so picked one of those up moving on to homeware so this is like the exciting part this is like all the sale items so where should i start i'll start with these 
So I picked up these pillowcases. So these were originally six pounds and then they were half price. So I got them for three pounds. And these are sustainable 100% cotton. They're in this cream color. We just needed some new pillowcases. So I thought I would pick these up. And they're in this really cute packaging. And yeah, it just says, two pillowcases made from sustainable cotton they had them in other colors as well they had them in like gray um like a light gray a dark gray they had them in a couple of others but i can't really remember but yeah i picked up the cream because our bedding is cream and white so matches the next thing i picked up was this and this was three pounds so this wasn't in the sale but it was just a special buy so yeah three pounds so cheap and i i'm so excited this just gets me so excited for autumn winter so basically it's a serving board it's a cheese board i don't know if you guys can see but it's it's a cheese board and it basically says on it cheese it says fromage it says camembert brie gonzola i can't pronounce the other ones cheddar in case you don't know the cheeses they're all in here but i am so excited for this cheese board picture it a camembert oozing out with some chorizo pieces in it some French bread, some breadsticks, some crackers, some cheese, blue cheese, brie, smoky cheese. Oh, oh my gosh. Does that not sound like the perfect night with Harry Potter in the background? And then I've got my lighter to light my candles. If that is not the most perfect evening in the history of perfect evenings, I don't know what it is basically but yeah i got a cheese board because we don't have one um because this will be our first christmas in the flat i am so excited i'm so excited to decorate i'm so excited to wake up christmas morning but yeah you best believe we're going to be having cheese boards all the time so we needed one the next thing i picked up was this bath mat so this was also in the sale so this was originally eight pounds and i got it for four pounds and it's just this cream it's in the range natural sanctuary tuft stripe bath mat and it's in this cream color this is what it looks like it's got a picture here on the back really like it i really like the material it's really what would you say that's like boho vibes um yeah it gives me kind of boho vibes but we needed a bath mat for our ensuite we currently don't have one we've been using a towel there and the aesthetic is really not pleasing me so we needed a bath mat for in there we've got a white company one for our main bathroom although it has gone this really weird stained color so i think maybe i need to pick another one up for the main bathroom or maybe I should do, do a trip to Vista because they do, that's where we got our white company bath mat originally from Vista. So maybe I should do a trip there and get a repurchase and a couple of towels. Yeah, but yeah, I got this for our ensuite. So cute. It's a bath mat, four pounds, literally. Four pounds, that's literally a Starbucks coffee feeling just great and then the last thing that i picked up was this throw so this was originally 12 pounds and as you can see here it then got reduced to eight pounds but to my surprise to my happiness this was meant to be mine i got to the till and they said it was reduced more it was five pounds so this was originally 12 i got it for five and it is this really thick fleecy throw and obviously in cream and 
I'm so excited. We've got a throw at the minute from Primark. It's really thin though, so it's a summer throw. So we needed an autumn winter throw. Because if you don't know, I get really, really cold, especially my hands and feet. So I am always either in a dressing gown, a hooded blanket, carrying a blanket around with me. So really needed one. And this is so soft. I can't tell you how soft this is. I mean, it says they're super soft. They're not lying. This isn't a lie. This is the truth. Can you see? How soft. It's actually gorgeous. I love this. This is my favourite piece from this haul. So I thought I would save it till last. But yeah, there was only one left in stock in my local B&M. So if you like it, maybe run to your B&M before they sell out. But yeah, I got it for a fiver. So there we go. I think I might, I was going to say I might get this out tonight, but I'm actually sweating, so maybe not. Maybe I'll keep it all nice and packaged until it starts getting a bit colder. But that was my B&M haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want me to start doing these monthly, because I do go to B&M quite a bit. I do love to spend a lot of my money in B&M, so... Let me know if you love it as much as I do. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and comment down below what other videos you'd like to see from me. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.